Hey, how's it going? It's Blake's Nature Live, and we're going to be planting a tree today. Come we're closer. going to be planting this elephant ear tree or monkey ear tree. Now, the seed pod from this tree, they actually make soap out of it. You just take the dry black seed pod and you put it in water and squish it and stuff, and it makes this soap sud that you can wash clothes with, wash your hands. And they do another dish with the green pods. And you can eat the seed. You just gotta be careful. There's uh, two different types, and I don't know which one I have here. I found the seed in uh, Animal Kingdom. It really resembles um, a mosa tree, you know, the ones with the little fluffy pink flowers. But there's a little bit of a characteristic that's different in the leaves, the way the leaves push out. And they're a slightly different color than the, the mosas, and I'll show you. And we're gonna be putting compost. At the bottom, we're going to make compost. Pretty much what we're doing is taking scraps of uh, vegetables and a little bit of rice. I'm going to put it at the very bottom of the hole, and we're going to mound this above it. And as it decays, these roots will come down and have a lot of nutrition, and it will grow really happy. So let's get you closer, and I'll dig a hole. You can watch me. I want it right in here because we get a lot of sun. And this will be a possibility of a... A uh, chop and drop tree because it is tropical so I will have to keep it shorter near uh, when it gets cooler so I don't want this to die back real bad oh, I forget that I made a big hole right here with a lot of mulch so this one I will have to raise up so I won't have to dig in much because it's already, it was already a, a bad dip in this area. So right now I'm pulling a lot of mulch back. So what I dig will just be a little bit because it's already pretty deep. So I will be right back. I got to find, there it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig some of the dirt out. Ground's kind of impacted here. I'm going to get some of this other dirt that we purchased at, this, at the mulch place. That has good soil and it has slow release fertilizer in it. I want this tree to be, I want it to be happy here. You know, when you're trying to grow tropicals in like a subtropical or temperate climate you got to give them everything they need you have to give them the extra care it's just not like a pine tree you just throw in the ground it's a tropical tree and that goes with a lot of trees no matter where you live at they need loving until they get independent you know gotta show them love that makes them grow all right so I think this is good. I want to bring you closer. We'll go through different steps. I'll do this till all my trees or I'll plant something that's nutritious under where the plant's gonna be planted at. I didn't get to finish it and it went bad in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna throw that in there. We'll give it a lot of a lot of uh food to it as it decays and the and the thing is you're, you grow it above it at least five to six inches of soil over it or higher so it decays in time the worms come here i may even seed some worms in here how about it? let's do that give the worms something to eat on okay we're over here at the worm bin Got the worms are doing. Oh, they're breaking down the put a big piece of jackfruit. It was a big hill. They broke it down so quick in about a week. Wow. So it was about this tall. Alright. I've been grabbing worms on this side. 
here's the black stuff this is that good stuff right here we'll put a few handfuls in there introduce some good there you go earthworms all right so i'm going to put this back and i also when it rains or when i drain water through here it seeps through let me get that and i collect it um, down here freaky out because it's hot out here they don't like sun in this hurry i add just a little bit of dirt on the top and now we're going to add these guys over top of that make sure you get all of them out because you don't want these guys to everyone counts all right so we got them here we'll keep a little ball of it there now we're gonna kind of hard to do with two hands layer a little bit more let me put the phone down okay so you got an idea how to go about this these will help break it down a lot quicker these are the compost worms i have that I bought on ebay and they multiply really quick so we're gonna I'm going to go a little bit higher with this, and then I'll get some of that dirt I was telling you about. Because I'm going to have to raise this up, because it's about almost 7 inches of mulch. I forgot this spot was really low. I put lots of mulch here. So we're going to pour the whole thing in here. Alright, so this is where I will sit the plant down. So here's my really good dirt. I'd use it a lot for my container plants, but also we'll put it around my plants to give them extra nutrition. And it's really uh, it drains well and it has slow release fertilizer. So let's go put some in here. Just need a little bit, and then I'm gonna set the plant in. Plants in. You want to mound your plant because it's going to sink a little bit as this uh, compost or as this, these vegetables and a little bit of rice turns into compost. Let's see if I, we can get this to show you. Now I just recently repotted this plant so it's going to probably fall apart. We'll see how fast its roots have grown in about a few weeks. It's really hot today. But I'm glad for the warmer weather. Okay. Got that. We want to mound it. Alright. So. Oh wow, a lot of the. It made a lot of decent roots. Perfect. Cool. Got it out. It kind of already pushed its own roots out. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna just put the, the dirt around it and we'll come back so I'll show you the other names they call this tree we we'll have to get one more thing of it It'll be, it'll be ready. It'll be happy as can be. All right, I'll be right back. All right. So I'm gonna show you the other names of what this tree is called. So this is this one, and here's this one. I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna put more mulch around this and we're gonna water it in get it established these are drought tolerant trees since I've had it in, in the shade for a while it may stress out just a little bit but in a month it'll be established and they grow really quick and they make a very beautiful tree um, 
when I seen the ones in Animal Kingdom, they're just stunning. Um, it was in the Animal Kingdom section. I grabbed a lot of seeds, and there's no issue about that because the seed tells the story. The seed tells you all about what the tree looks like. You can learn about the tree. You look it up because you're curious. And now you know about a tree you never even heard about. So there you go. It's going to grow beautifully. And see, since it's stressed out, it actually closed its leaves in to protect itself from the sun. It's a very amazing tree. I'm going to go show you the mimosa. It's an invasive one. But if you cut them back, they, um, they actually do good as a chop and drop. I'll water it in. Yeah, it's a beautiful tree. I'll show you pictures how they look like when they get really big. Cut back and removed from a person's yard. And it did good. It's sort of growing again. So you see the difference in the leaves. They're like more fine and skinnier. These are closing up because of the sun. But they're still slightly different. But they look similar. I don't know if they're in the same family. There's a possibility the way they look. But all these type of species do produce their own nitrogen. And this one over here does because I've seen the little nitrogen, little uh, nitrogen clusters on the roots and they have that smell of uh, um, urine. There you go. And as this grows up and makes the flower, I'll cut it back so the seeds don't spread everywhere because these do get invasive. See, I didn't have any on the property, but they're popping up from the neighbor's yard far over there so you can grow these just at least cut them back before they start seeding and you can use the leaves and stuff to put up throw on the ground and whatever whatever's near it will get some of the nitrogen that it makes hope you enjoy this this is Blake's Nature Life and I'm gonna catch you later I'm gonna get some water and we need to water these plants then so right now I'm building a little tropical section. So we have this guy. I'm gonna have a, uh, um, a navel plum. It's not a true plum. It grows like a little fruit on it. And there's another one growing. That's the one I bought seeds and thought it was a, uh, thought I was purchasing a mountain papaya. I was like, this is not a mountain papaya. Here's a uh, pawpaw that I grabbed at a mango variety type. And a pound one that um, John caught it pound because it came off this one tree. It's supposed to have a big fruit on it. And then right behind it, we have a. Uh, um, I'll show you the other name. I can't remember the name of it, but the other name to call it is a strawberry guava. Makes a small guava, but it's really cold hardy. Very invasive down south and in the Bahamas. I mean, in the Hawaii goes crazy there takes over the plants and then we have a or then we have the uh, castor bean tree out here growing so I'm just doing little sections and I did a air layer of a uh, pink guava this one hasn't made fruits but I'm just growing it out here anyway but hopefully the one at the house that's in the pot will make a fruit I don't want to just grow guavas that make no fruit all right just watering some plants at the Harvey Harvey Lemon and one of my unknown ones from Nicaragua. Hope you enjoyed this video. I miss everybody. Hope everyone's doing good. It's been crazy busy lately. Trying to keep up making videos still. Have a good one.